Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sar Bilfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sikhir Palace His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials where they discussed local affairs that aim to further develop the kingdom at all levels. His Majesty praised the efforts of His Royal Highness Prime Minister and His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister for their continuous efforts to support and develop the government's work system based on their keenness to provide citizens and residents with the best services. He praised the extent efforts of the Ministry of Interior and Security Authorities in capturing terrorist calls that target the security and stability of Bahrain. His Majesty expressed thanks, appreciation and pride in the efforts of policemen in maintaining safety and security. His Majesty asserted that Bahrain will continue to be an oasis of security and stability and will steadily progress towards more development and prosperity. He hailed the concerted efforts of the people of Bahrain to enhance the economic and developmental gains for the benefit of the homeland and the citizens. He Affirmed that Bahrain has been able to make pioneering achievements in all fields thanks to the efforts of its loyal people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the Kuwaiti Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed Al Abdullah Mbarak Al Sabah, who delivered to His Majesty a written letter from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on the historic bilateral relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and the kind sentiments of His Highness and the Kuwaiti people, in addition to the latest regional and international developments and issues of common interest. His Majesty welcomed Sheikh Mohammed Al Abdullah and delegated him to convey his greetings. To the Emir of Kuwait and his wishes of development and prosperity for the Kuwaiti people. Sheikh Mohammed Al Abdullah conveyed the greetings for of the Emir of Kuwait and his wishes of development for Bahraini people. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait's efforts to consolidate Bahraini Kuwaiti relations and his role in serving the issues of the Arab and Islamic nation as well as humanitarian issues. His Majesty hailed the fraternal relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and the development of bilateral cooperation to serve common interests and Goals. The Kuwaiti Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs was received by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Azam Mbarak Al Sabah. The Kuwaiti Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs was received by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Azam Mbarak Al Sabah. The Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Dhabiya Palace the Chairman of the Saudi Shura Council, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Sheikh, and the accompanying delegation. The Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to all Arab and Muslims and noted its role in maintaining the security and stability of Gulf, Arab, and Islamic countries. The Royal Highness hailed the leading role of Saudi Arabia as well as its political stances that support the region's stability. The Saudi Council Chairman affirmed that His Royal Highness is a distinguished model of leadership. The Prime Minister praised Saudi Arabia's development that reflects the vision of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness affirmed that Saudi Arabia's initiatives under the leadership of the Saudi monarch that call for unity reflect the Saudi Arabia's influential role regionally and globally. 
The Prime Minister recalled the visit of the Saudi monarch to Bahrain and the achievements made at all levels. His Royal Highness hailed the deep ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and highlighted the strong bonds between its people. The Prime Minister noted Bahrain's keenness to reinforce cooperation and coordination with Saudi Arabia and explore more opportunities that develop cooperation to serve the aspirations of the two countries and their people. For his part, the Saudi Shura Council Chairman hailed His Royal Highness's wise vision towards regional and international issues and His Royal Highness's wise leadership. He also commended the efforts of His Royal Highness to reinforce Gulf action. He expressed appreciation and gratitude for His Royal Highness's kind sentiments towards Saudi Arabia, which reflects his strong ties between the two leadership and people. He also praised Bahrain's security and safety thanks to the efforts of its wise leadership. Following the 2017 government forum during which His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa directed the government officials to lead a series of workshops to identify key objectives for the upcoming government action plan 2019 to 2022, the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Social Services, Telecommunication and Media, Zahana Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a workshop today that focused on services and the environment in the presence of the ministers concerned and more than a hundred government officials. His Highness announced the adoption of uh, 10 policies and 40 initiatives. He noted in a statement that leadership's keenness on developing the environment and services sectors due to their importance as they have a direct effect on people. He recalled, His Excellency recalled the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to create policies and implement initiatives that will provide citizens with the best services as 
they are the foundation of development. His Highness the Deputy Premier expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for his efforts in developing the kingdom and his keenness on developing the government's work to make more national achievements in all sectors. He also praised the coordination meetings and participants for their efforts in formulating a, mem a number of policies, programs and projects in the environment and services sector that have been adopted in the preliminary report of the two sectors which aim to develop the public services to meet the aspirations of the people. The coordinator of the meetings, environmental sector and executive director of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Dana, presented the four policies adopted in this regard which are organizing environmental protection, enhancing environmental sustainability and resource efficiency, enhancing the protection and sustainability of biodiversity and enhancing the conservation of marine resources. The outcomes of this workshop and the other workshops and consultative meetings held will be used to formulate the government's next work program. In a unique platform to assess and evaluate key initiatives designed to advance government performance and promote excellence across Bahrain's key sectors, six policies and 24 initiatives have been approved today for the services sector, in addition to four policies and 16 initiatives for the environmental sector, reflecting the government's firm commitment to continuing to tackle environmental issues and ensure long-term sustainability, moreover improve public services and increase their efficiency. How we can improve the rules and regulations, how we can save whatever resources we have, how we can protect the biodiversity and how can we protect the marine resources. And the marine resources part is something that hasn't been done before on the government. How we can monitor the marine um, biodiversity and how can we improve our fisheries uh, hatcheries, artificial reefs initiatives will be under this aspect. Important integral part in the section related to the government services in terms of education, health and environment. Uh, to us we discuss the numerous issues related to the quality and monitoring of the health services because this will uh, lay down the infrastructure for the upcoming health insurance in Bahrain. Citizens remain at the heart of development efforts and improving standards of public services, including education and health care, remains a key objective of the government's action plan, while recognizing that increased collaboration across the government is crucial to improving standards and identifying opportunities to expand public sector services. Four strategies that we're working on right now and we're hoping that will be included in the government program very soon. Uh, the first one, and each strategy has got initiatives beneath it. The first one is regarding the improvement of, of school and management of schools as well, which will also require kind of a training for our teachers and providing more uh, resources uh, for the schools, including the curricula and the, uh, the technology, etc. The opportunity of getting together is highly appreciated by all the colleagues that I spoke to in the uh, uh, government of Bahrain. Their participation in making plans and 
later on implementing it actually will be a good incentive for them and they will know from where it came and how to do it. Strengthening environmental protection, accelerating sustainable growth including supporting long-term environmental quality and innovative policies are key components of Bahrain's Vision 2030. Reporting for Bahrain International, Emheba Abdullah the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa to attend the International Arabian Saluki Beauty Contest under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. The contest is organized by the organizing committee of Nasser bin Hamad Falconry and Hunting Competition. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's support to traditional sports which contributed to their enrichment in the kingdom and promotion in the Arab world following the success of the competitions achieved. He stated that the International Arabian Beauty Saluki Contest reflects the sport's importance in Bahraini heritage, which witnessed a wide participation from owners inside and outside the kingdom. He also hailed the outstanding organization, asserting that it demonstrates the kingdom's richness in national competencies, who contributed to the success of all national and international championships and competitions hosted by Bahrain as Anna Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman honored the winners. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, received the Saudi Shura Council Chairman, Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim al Sheikh. Al Mullah affirmed that Bahraini Saudi relations stem from joint foundations and visions, hailing the support of the two countries' leaders and governments to the bilateral relations. He stated that the visit represents an opportunity to exchange expertise between the Bahraini and Saudi Shura Councils on all legislative and audit levels, noting the large coordination between the two countries' stances towards regional and international causes. For his part, the Saudi Shura chairman expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, praising the deep-rooted and brotherly relations between the two countries and development there witnessed on all levels as a result of the efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Majesty the King. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, praised the efforts of the Interior Ministry and the security authorities led by Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to safeguard security and stability, protect the lives of citizens and residents, and preserve the landmark national gains, capabilities, and civilizational achievements attained by the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Al Mullah affirmed the parliamentary support for the security authorities and their responsible patriotic role in fighting, confronting and preventing criminality, praising the Interior Ministry's advanced security preparedness and professionalism. The success of the security authorities in arresting a 116-member terrorist organization proves the Interior Ministry's ability to track down terrorists in Bahrain and abroad. He stressed that the Council of Representatives will counter with full force and resolve all attempts to put the Kingdom's security and stability at risk noting that Bahrain's legislative branch will continue strengthening the role of the parliamentary diplomacy to expose the practices of terrorist groups against the kingdom's security and stability. 
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Salah al-Salah, received his Saudi counterpart, Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim al sheikh who is currently on an official visit to the kingdom. Al-Salah affirmed that the Bahraini-Saudi relations represents a model of deep-rooted relations between countries, which is a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd al-Aziz al-Saud of Saudi Arabia. Al-Salah noted that the visit embodies the brotherly relations between the two countries, stating that Saudi Arabia carries a strategic, economic, political, security and military weight in the region. The Shura Council chairman expressed thanks and appreciation for the support Bahrain receives from Saudi Arabia, asserting the necessity to continue regional and international coordination and co cooperation between the two countries' Shura Councils. For his part, Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed hailed the fraternal relations between the two countries. The chairman of the Shura Ali bin Salah al-Salah presided over the council's weekly session which was dedicated to discuss the national plan of Bahraini women development in the presence of the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Halal Ansari, and representatives from a number of official bodies and women associations and the United Nations Development Program. The council discussed the letter of the representatives council speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim al-Mullah on the council's decision about a draft law amending Article 7 of Law 74 of 2006 on supporting, rehabilitating and employing disabled people. The Shura Council commended the vigilance and readiness of the security agencies. It issued a statement hailing the success of the security authorities in busting a 116-member cell in a counter-terror security operation as it was plotting to destabilize the Kingdom of Bahrain and subvert its national security. The Shura Council paid tribute to the Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa for following up the developments and issuing expedite directives to thwart the terrorist plots targeting Bahrain security and stability. The statement condemned continuous Iranian hostility through Tehran-backed arms targeting Bahrain security, fueling sectarian strife and aiding and abetting terrorists who serve its regional agenda. The Shura Council urged a full commitment to the interior law which criminalizes such activists which represent blatant interference in Bahrain's internal affairs. On an official visit to the Representatives Council, the first Deputy Speaker of the Council, Ali Al Aradi, met with a delegation of the European Conservatives and Reformist Group. The meeting discussed Gulf and international developments and reviewed issues of common interest, in addition to ways of strengthening parliamentary cooperation between Bahrain, Council of Representatives, and European Parliaments on all levels. Under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Art Bahrain Actress Across Borders, Art Bab 2018, Bahrain's leading contemporary art fair, is set to launch on March the 14th, 2018, at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. The show will be open for the public from the 15th till the 18th of March 2018. On this occasion, the Director General for the Office. Of, her, of the wife of His Majesty the King, Baram bint Isa Al Khalifa, announced the details of the third edition of the exhibition at a press conference. Sheikh Maram expressed thanks and appreciation to Temkin for fighting for funding the project. The exhibition director, Kanika Sabwaral, announced that this year's theme is education. The more we learn, the more we grow, with the focus being collaborative exchange. Under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, Princess Habika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King of Bahrain and President of the Supreme Council for Women, a press conference was held today to announce the third edition of the Art Bahrain Across Borders exhibition. Uh, this is our third edition. Uh, it, is, it has been growing steadily and I'm very proud to say that we have the biggest number of participants this year. Uh, we have uh, about... Uh, 
17 countries participating and then there are a number of uh, galleries and artists uh, as we had in the in the previous editions but the numbers are obviously higher than what we had what we've had before in addition to the usual uh, group of uh, well-known artists in Bahrain this year the art Bar pavilion will host five emerging artists which is who, whose work has never been shown in public nor are their names known to to anybody so this is uh, um, an amazing step uh, they are the artists of the future in Bahrain and uh, it's important that they become part of, of this um, important event. The focus, like I was mentioning earlier, in this year's edition is all about education. The more we learn, the more we grow. That has been my motto ever since I started dreaming this dream and I am ever so grateful to Her Royal Highness Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of the King of Bahrain, to have lent her guidance, to have lent her support to this project. Uh, nonetheless, uh, Tamkeen Bahrain are strategic partners. I think the elevation, the, the, the elevation that this has brought in has had a international impact. Arts Bob 2018 is Bahrain's foremost international art fair with the mission to attract leading international galleries to the kingdom and powering the expansion of the art market, all the while facilitating the development of local Bahraini artists. This year in Art Bab is going to host the first street art pavilion, which is a great opportunity for us to showcase our talents. Uh, art Bab has been one of the like you know really prominent exhibitions that happen annually. Now this is the third year of it and we're really looking forward for something new this year, so keep a lookout. I think it's a very great initiative by Tim Kean and supporting all the, um, the talent that's in this country. I think uh, we've been needing it for quite a while and I think this is going to be a good door to open Bahrain in terms of culture-wise to everybody else in the Middle East and along the world. Uh, it's great to have everybody else internationally involved uh, with the community. In this sense, Art Bob is the bridge between Bahrain and the world, and the narrative of each fair will reflect this. Art Bob 2018 has announced an exciting and eclectic list of participating galleries, with artists coming from across the globe to exhibit at this influential Bahraini art fair. Embracing Bahrain's cultural heritage is an intimate marketplace, and this international art expo is a place to interact with contemporary art from all over the world. Hoping to bridge Bahrain with the global art market, Art Bob 2018 will begin on the 15th of March. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. Gulf Corporation Council Secretary General Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani commended the Interior Ministry of Security Agencies, which succeeded in busing 116 member cell backed by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard and seizing weapons, ammunition, and explosives. He hailed the vigilance and readiness of the security agencies, which preempted the terrorists and arrested them, commending their role in defending Bahrain's security and stability and protecting society from the evil minded Iranian backed terror groups. Dr. Zayani said that the attempts of the terrorist group and their backers to subvert Bahrain's security and stability and expose citizens and residents to danger will be doomed to failure. He extended congratulations to Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, officials and affiliates, healing strenuous efforts to maintain Bahrain's security and stability. The Arab Parliament has stressed its solidarity with the Kingdom of Bahrain as well as its support to its efforts in combating terrorism and countering attempts to tamper with its security and stability. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Mish'al bin Fahm al-Salmi, praised the thwarting of a number of terrorist acts by Bahraini security forces as well as capturing 116 terrorists. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,380.22 points, marking an increase of 6.77 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial bank sector, where investors mainly traded, representing 74% of the total value of traded shares. Results indicated that 47 equity transactions took place, with a volume of 1 million 182 1,296 shares worth 267,585 Bahraini dinars. <laughs>